Rita, Rita, I'm Katya. I'm so nice glad you're here. here. This is our medical outpost. Good. Ramrocha. Ekdamna. I have been here for 30 years and we've been taking care of the people. I'm the, the medical assistant and pharmacist and oh, I'm so excited to learn from you. You have so much experience. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Yes. So as you know, we are a rural village and we have lots of tiered farming here up on the mountains of Nepal that are beautiful. so beautiful. Yes. So what kind of experience do you have? I've been out of school now for almost a year. Okay, wonderful. And where did you go to school? I studied in Kathmandu. I trained for nine months. Okay, so you're but in the city. I only know what I learned in, yes, in Kathmandu. Okay, and did you deliver doctors? babies there? Never. No, okay. I saw the deliveries, but I have never delivered Okay, babies. okay. Did you take care of babies there? Um, oh yes, lots of babies. Okay. Did you see injuries? I saw lots of injuries, yes. Okay, car accidents. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, those motos. Mm -hmm. So here we have lots of farming accidents because you can see people just fall off the edge of their cars. Right. And we have um, injuries. So you'll teach me what to do. Of course, of course, yes. And the best thing is we have doctors that come from all over the world, all oh, different countries, very good. and they come and take care of our people. There are some doctors coming today. They are coming today. They should be here in a few minutes. So are we going to see some patients today? Yes. Yes. So what I'd like you to do today is. You have the intake form, so okay. write down the patient's name, their age, and then why they're here, okay. and we'll try to get them cared for, okay? Okay. And so then what am I going to tell the patient if the doctor's not here yet? They just need to wait. The, okay. The doctor will come, and okay. we just do the best we can on the days that the doctor isn't here. Come in. Oh, namaste. Hey, I heard the doctors are coming today. The doctors are coming today. I want to just cross Newman. Samira Namrita. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. So, my name is Rita. Oh. My name is Rita. <laughs> I'm the assistant. Um, what is your name? I'm Loxmi. Loxmi. And Loxmi, how old are you? I'm 25. 25 years old. And what did you come here for? I've had a headache. You have a headache. How long have you had that headache? A whole week. One week. Do, are you married? Do you have children? Oh, my husband passed away in a terrible farming accident. Oh. I take care of our two boys by myself. And how far did you have to walk? Oh, I walked four hours from the neighboring village. Okay. Just Let me um, see if we can get some doctors here to see you, okay? Can you wait here for just a minute? Okay, thank right, you. So this is Loxmi. She mm -hmm. has a headache, and she said she's had the headache for about one week now. Um, okay, is she pregnant? She, uh, my yes, wife is injured. Pregnant. Is the doctor just, here just yet? Just a minute, just a minute. Are you pregnant? No, my so husband died. No, she, oh. she, her husband died, so she's not pregnant. She has two children at home. <sighs> You're a teacher, but she's a teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll take care of you. Okay, so lock me away here for just a minute. I have to go see another patient real quick. Okay, right, I'm just, look, I'm, oh. look. What is the we, matter? We think she broke her arm. She was she was lit, being silly, clumsy in the farm, and fell down. She's really bleeding a lot. Uh, I don't bleeding. know. We've been walking for six hours to get here. I heard the doctors were coming today. Okay. The oh, doctors, doctors. Are coming today. doctors are coming today. Oh, yes, goodness. yes, they're coming. The last time they didn't come. Don't. They'll be here. Don't worry. Sunita. Her name Sunita. is Sunita. Okay. And how old are you, Sunita? She's thirty-two. Thirty-two. Sunita. Um, when did you? It was just this morning. this morning. We've been walking all day to get here. I, I, we have to get back to the farm. It's time to harvest, and now she's here because of her clumsiness. And, how, and you're in lots of pain. Yeah. She's in severe pain. Oh, we have. I think Some we have. Right 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 so we can take care of it. It's okay. Oh, look, the doctors are here. Oh, namaste. Namaste. Hello. We're the medical students. Yes, welcome, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. I'm Katya. Okay, nice to meet you, I'm Katya. Nice to meet Duncan, you. I'm a second year, oh, sorry, from Adelaide, yes, Australia. So excited to be here. Awesome, I'm Evan, good. I'm from, a medical student from the United States. Mm -hmm. We're here. Wonderful. We have just spent two long weeks in Kathmandu. Hospital rotation, boring, boring. 
you know, I'm going to Everest after this, so I'm super pumped. They said we could come out to this clinic. They said you guys needed all kinds of help. We're ready to go. Yes, absolutely. Welcome to our village. Okay. We, the, the villagers know that you'll be here today. So we have them, most of them are waiting outside, but we have a, at least a few patients that are ready to be seen. Are you ready to go? Oh, yeah. uh, can we just get a quick tour? See where all the medications and equipment, where we can wash sure, our hands. Sure, sure, absolutely. Well, you brought some of that gel that you put on your hands. Most of the doctors come with that gel. Um, is there no sink or We don't have running, running water, water, no. Oh, okay, yeah. Hand sanitizer will be fine. Okay, great, great, I'm glad. Okay. So can I give you a tour? Can I show you yeah, around? Okay. That'd be great. So here we have our outpost, and this is where the patients who've been checked in will sit. We have a couple of patients ready to be seen already. Now the rest of them are on the other side of that door. There are probably 30 or 40 that are waiting to be checked in. So we have everyone who's come to see you because they need their medical care. Now, once the patients are ready, if you're ready to take care of them, we have a couple of chairs here and here, and you're able to, to put the patient there and do your thing, take care of them. Now, if someone comes in in active labor, they're delivering a baby, we actually have a little bed back here and a curtain. That's the only privacy that we have. All right? So now we have some medications and supplies. So here is our whole wall of medications. Now, normally we would have oral rehydration salts, but we had an outbreak of dysentery a couple of weeks ago. We haven't received any that have come in recently. But it's okay. We have, uh, we have the tetanus. We have a couple of tetanus shots here. We have some antibiotics. We have a wide variety of them. I think there might even be four different kinds today that we have a few doses of, and it looks like we're down to about six doses of the malaria medication, which is right over here. And uh, here we have all the supplies for wound care and for, for the injuries that we see here. Because you know we have tiered farming, I'm sure you can see on the right end. It's beautiful, the mountains are lovely, but the, the farms are on different levels so the patients can fall off the edge of their farms and they have some trauma sometimes from that. Speaking of the ride, Missy, um, bathrooms? Yeah, we have a latrine back here. It's a, um, it's a little hole, it's behind these, these two walls. That works for you, right? Yeah. yeah. Wonderful, That's fine. good. Mm -hmm. They said we'd have a place to sleep. Yeah. Yes, so the villagers are so grateful that you're here that they've offered you space on a front porch where you can sleep. Did you bring a blanket? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, I guess we can go ahead and start seeing patients now. Okay. Excellent. She just has a headache. I mean, my my wife is injured. If you guys. Namaste, Doctor. Namaste. Yeah, namaste. namaste. I'm just way more interested. Yeah, she's got a broken arm. She was clumsy on the farm and fell this morning, and we just we've got to get back to the farm. Okay. Let's, uh, okay. You can, uh, hey, please sorry, don't can, touch my uh, wife. Can someone translate for us? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Right. So we can just have a seat over here. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. Mm. It gets her cold. It's just a broken yeah. arm. Clean it out, suture it up, yeah. and um, I guess we need it's going to probably need to be reset as well. Yeah. Looks like it's dislocated, maybe fractured, so we're going to have to splint it. Okay. Um, so can, can you go to the back and get everything? Oh yeah, I'll tell no you. problem, no problem. And how long will okay. it take? Quick, man, no problem. Just give us a bit, thank you. Okay. I'll go to the back and get the stuff. All right. Okay, yeah, her arm looks. Pretty bad. Um, Duncan's out back getting all the medical supplies. If you can just um, take a look at everything and make sure that we're on the right track. How um, have you handled situations like this in the past? So how would you treat this? Oh, we have lots of situations like this. As I was telling you, we have the farming injuries all the time here. Uh -huh. It's very common: broken arms, broken legs. Uh -huh. It happens. Okay. Have you uh, directly treated one of these patients before? We do the best like we can. This? When there are no doctors like you, then we do what we can. We do some wound care and, and I just get, oh look, Duncan's getting the, the supplies right now. Okay, uh, we're just medical students. Um, are you a physician? I'm not a doctor, no, but you are the doctors. You have come to take care of the people of my village. Okay. We need you. Uh, we were told that there would be a licensed Position here. You are it. 
You are our doctors. You have had more education and training than anyone in this village. We need your help. There's no let's see position. Kind of a surprise. But yeah. I mean, here I mean, we are. Well, we can't do anything without the supervision, supervision of a physician. Oh, we, we have to, man. I mean, look, she's, she's in pain. She's hurting. We, we got all the supplies. We, you know, this, what, what, you know, this is this. We got to do the right thing for her. We got to take care of her. I mean, there's so many things that could go wrong, though. We're not prepared to handle that. There's no doctors here. We're in Nepal. There's no doctors in this country. That's why we're here in this, in this village, is because there's no doctors. So we're the closest thing. You heard Katya. Katya isn't a doctor, and we're at least we're medical students. You know, we can. You know, I mean, we've done this a couple times, right? Like, I, mean, yeah. I watched some YouTubes. I got uh, some practice, great feedback. And uh, I'm looking Have you ever wrong. done anything like this I mean, um, in the past? I mean, again, uh, in, in, when I was on my out, outback rotation, yeah, I mean, we did a couple. With the supervision of a physician? Yes, granted, but there is no physician here, so it's just us. And don't you think we got to do the right thing for her? What, what are you worried about? What do you think is going to go wrong? I mean... We might actually be able to do something like this, but there's so many things that could go wrong that a licensed physician would need to be here for. I mean, half these medications aren't even in English. We don't even know what they are. I mean, it's, it, it, it looks like pain medicine. Okay, and what are you gonna do if you give her something and she has anaphylactic shock? I mean, um, there's a, a few needles, then maybe there's one of them as epinephrine. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see that, and you don't even know. We don't know. We don't know what we're doing. We need a licensed physician here, but and you know that. I know, but I mean, we, we well, listen. I mean, this is the patient in front of us, right? Don't we learn in school that you're supposed to do everything you can for the person in front of you? Beneficence, right? The best thing for the person in front of you. Yeah, and we're also trying to prevent from doing harm, which you, agree, you have to agree that we could potentially do. Of course, there's always the possibility. I mean, but listen, this is this is the we're in a in, in a in a in a setting where there's not anybody else to do it. So it's okay. got to be us. So what are we going to do when things start going drastically south and people are too scared to come to the clinic? We could have ruined it for everybody in security. Well, I'll tell you this. I had some friends who did this rotation. They didn't mention anything going wrong. They said they came out and had a great experience, helped a lot of people. I think that this is outside of our scope. 